Um, welcome back. It's really, really good to see y'all. Like, seriously, seriously, seriously. Thank you so much. I'm lovely to Denise. This is Coco and Clean Vlog of Coco Blue, the greatest cleaning team in all the land. And it's product review time. Now, this is my first ever product review. I've shared how I feel about this thing that's under this sheet. Dun, dun, dun. With many different people, I'm the type of person, like if I like something, I'll let you know. It don't even have to be on subject, I'll just bring it up. Cause I like to spread positivity uh, around. And I don't care how popular the product is. I don't care if it's my mom's all time most favorite product. And I love to meet some of my moms. That's why I mentioned, you know, if she loved it, if it's not, a good product if it doesn't function well according to my needs then i must say so and i will say so and nobody can pay me to say otherwise nobody can pay me to say otherwise because at the end of the day all you have is your word your good name and you build that by being honest with people so just that that's an extra little jewel anyway so that's my promise to you my word is my bond like the new yorkers will say it and i'm not even gonna try them by trying to imitate the accent because i am freaking terrible at accents horrible so first let me take my my truth serums <laughs> so this is an elderberry tea with turmeric, black pepper, freshly ground black pepper, fresh lemon juice, and honey. So, Bling! the truth, nothing but the truth shall come out from this point on. So if I figured out how to blur in the editing part, I'm a novice, then this rhymes with Tiffer. Okay, so if I have figured out how to, or haven't figured out how to blur, then this, I mean, it's a Swiffer, guys. Like, it's a Swiffer. This is a Swiffer wet jet, okay? The very popular, highly regarded Swiffer wet jet, and heavily marketed Swiffer wet jet. So, uh, I I'm a professional housekeeper, a professional cleaner. This is what I do. I work from Monday through Friday for Coco Blue, and my job is to sprinkle cleanliness and comfortability to all the clients throughout the week. That is my job. I am a professional housekeeper, and that's what makes me the authority on the freaking Swiffer wet jet. Okay, so when I first started out, I would go to the client's homes to give them a, you know, an accurate price proposal. We would go through what their needs were and what we offer and how much the cost would be. And, you know, some of the clients, especially parents of wood floors, they would say, you know, could you please use this on my floors? Because I don't want there to be too much moisture on the floor. And then they would break out the Swiffer wet jet or a Bona, which is another push pad mopping. Uh, system and you know at first I'm like oh sure yeah of course I would use it and I would use it but eventually I would convert to Coco Blue's mopping system and um one day a client like the very same day of her clean she texts me like what did you use on my wood floors immediately I panicked first off getting the client to text at night I think it was like nine or maybe even 10 o'clock that night like that's like oh my gosh what happened and then to read it i'm just like panicked so i'm like okay so did the steam from the water curl up the wallpaper did i leave watermarks like what happened so i immediately text her back which is something i usually don't do i'll text during business days during business hours um but yeah i immediately text her back i'm like why no i used hot water and dish detergent like my dish detergent on your floors what happened like what happened what happened beads of sweat uh shortness of breath heart racing what happened so she texts me back she says oh because the floors feel so much cleaner under my feet duh you know <laughs> so i said all of that to say this you cannot you cannot Clean your entire floors with the Swiffer wet jet. You can't, you can't do it. You can't spray something on your floor and push it around and expect there not to be any residue. And you can't do this consistently and expect there not to be a buildup of residue. Um, and then I come along and I hit it with my experience and our research and the clients are 
happy and that's a common response with the die hard swiffer wet jet and bona push pad mopping systems like they use it and after we come it's like oh wow and i don't want to be all extra negative and say that it's completely useless because it's not completely useless if i were to buy the swiffer wet jet i would use it for a sudden spill so i think it's it's just pretty good for sudden spills if you spill milk run for the swiffer wet jet if you spill some water some juice run for the swiffer wet jet get it up really quickly and boom now you can also use a paper towel you can also use a, a dish cloth, you know, you can do that too. But if you must be amongst the popular kids, you know, get buying the popular thing, then get yourself a Swiffer wet jet and use it for that purpose. But to clean your entire floors as a professional cleaner, what I would say is don't you dare. Don't you dare do it. Now, the rating system. Usability. Is it user friendly? Of course. It's simple to you, so I'll give it a five. Five being the best and the one being the worst, okay? Effectiveness. It depends on what you're trying to do. So if you're trying to clean your entire floor, then I am going to give it a one. Sorry. Uh, if I were to use it to spot clean, then I would give it a four. I mean, it, you can give it a five too because it will do that. It's not necessary to buy a Swiffer wet jet for sudden spills. There's other alternatives. Assembly, simple to put together. Just click it and turn it in there. There you go, voila, it's ready. So I'm gonna give it a five. Is it Mother Nature approved? No, it is not. I spoke to her and she, 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 she's not feeling the Swiffer wet jet because the push pads just extra waste that's just it's just really unnecessary it's adding to our landfills it's polluting her oceans it's like a little plastic made plastic it's just amongst other things it's just not the best uh is it lonely to denise approved it is not i would not recommend the swiffer wedge I wouldn't. Now, if you are trying to mop your floors, here's what I would recommend if you want to mop them well. You want to get you a double pail bucket. One side, it needs that little, the little, I don't even know what it's called. It's a plastic part that rings the mop out. A wooden mop stick works the best, and the longer, the better. A mop head that is microfiber cloth, and not like the little scraggly ones or whatever. Get one that's plush. And it's cost maybe like $8 at the different store. You want to have the water as high as possible. Also, you're going to use a quality liquid dish detergent, and I'm going to recommend Dawn. You know, when they say Dawn is the best, when they're taking the, the oil off of those little chickadees, those little ducklings, I believe that's really working. Dawn works really, really well, and I've used many different uh, liquid detergents. A couple of, a few, several drops of Dawn liquid detergent in the bucket and you're going to mop with that. Now with the wood floors, you want to wring it out really well. We call it dry mopping. You're going to bring it out really well if you have quality wood floors. They can take a little bit more moisture. Now if you have particle board and laminate and the particle board is basically wood dust that's compressed into a plank. Now if you had that, I need you to wring, wring that mop out. And then when it's when you when you run it out, run it out again, and then again and again and again. Cause if you put moisture on that floor, it's just gonna it's gonna poof up, okay? And while you're doing this, taking care not to put too much moisture on your floors, I need you to save your loose change so that you can purchase you some quality wood floors or the porcelain tile that's like faux wood. It's fooled a lot of people. It looks good, it feels good, it feels like wood. If you like this content, please hit like if you like me. The kid, please hit subscribe. I'm Lolly to Denise. Thank you so much for watching. Tell your best friend about your new best friend so we can all be best friends together here at Coco and Clean. There's so much more to come. Love you.